these firecrackers were not so much a feature of the tap line as such. I would suggest they were something added by the guides that when they exploded would draw more so my attention to this situation, to rather snap me out of it as it were. This indeed seemed to do the trick, and I would remove the tapline plastic strings from myself, and hurl them to the side. Interestingly, there was another individual who entered the scene and joined this mischievous taplining inserting a group, someone who was a part of the new presentation, but had decided to return to the personal self in recent times and as I threw the strings of tap liners, they seemed to land on this former new friend. Almost a case of me redacting my agreements that had allowed these tap liners, decided their release, and it was as though there was instant karmic backlash for perhaps the individual, the former new friend, who may have instigated this tapline attack. For karma is cause and effect, and all creational causes, agreements, decision, ideas, etc., have a tapline that comes with it, that binds you to the effects that must be measured out. Very often, guides will allow attacks of this nature or others, for we must learn to take responsibility for our actions, for our decided causes and also recognise our errors, realign ourselves, and decide the release of the tapliners, and extrication of ourselves from the effects we have found ourselves in. And also... If the dark forces do attack individuals who are on their process and journeys of awareness, such characters have overstepped the mark. They have played their ill-intended hand, as it were, and have brought karma upon themselves. And this is why also guides may allow them to attack us. For now the attackers have a debt that can be called in and leverage can be brought to bear by the guides to bring about beneficial situations that may not have been possible but for the attacks that took place. As an example, the guides can potentially place troublesome attackers in the phantom zone, and so the leader of this little ill-intended group received an instant karmic backlash receiving a tap liners that were intended for me to be restricted by through my agreement with. The experience would end there, and although not perhaps an amazing roller coaster of an adventure, 
a valuable experience was provided nonetheless, that we might have to swiftly considered not exciting enough to share or pay attention to an experience demonstrating another method of real side baiting by the dark forces, agreement given through the attention diverted to these little dark force setups and situations, and then a tactic of drawing one into the personal self through the decided activation of emotions such as guilt and shame in response to misdeeds we had participated in in lifetimes of the past. For yes, the dark forces have access to our Akashic records on the causal level of ourselves, as this level of life and personal self falls within the dominion of the heavens of man, the created consciousness under the control of the Kalom God, and so they can very readily find some juicy experiences from our files to lay on us for these kinds of scenarios. And so it very much falls on us to retain our indifference and detachment to all that the dark forces throw at us to remain standing now in our real awareness, in other words, for anything we are baited with in creation, if our attention and focus is on anything created in the simulators, this is cause and effect taplining restriction that we can immerse ourselves in. But as this experience demonstrates, we always are the deciders, and even if we are successfully snared, we are now conscious of what's going on, we recognise the situations and the taplines on the real side, and can just as readily then extricate ourselves from their creational limiting effect, and the journey to recognising the true reality life is continues on well that was a lot of fun kevin thank you very much and i like how you explain things uh in most of your talks you go over this and it's very well it's very very good actually i like to hear it uh and yes this confrontation which uh most unaware people don't want to do but it's very very necessary to wake up and see how we react, in other words, see how we have uh, set up ourselves to be stuck with our reactions and our routines. It's a matter of choice. But as we decide to go through this, just like James Bond, when he takes on a mission, he knows that everybody's a spy, uh, basically, and that he has to watch it. And there are surprises because we have the personal self, and that's okay. So as you have these experiences and take these things on, it's okay, too, because uh, it's actually uh, a benefit that these individuals, uh, and we have their attention, do this simply because uh, this gives the, the boys a rest so they don't have to set up all these scenarios because they see that 
these things are going to automatically happen anyhow, and it just depends upon each person if they're paying attention and want to become more aware and recognize the is. That's that uh, unknown invisible factor that uh, is a must for real survival and real support, uh, more so than the personal mind that just gathers information. That's all it is. It doesn't matter how much you have. It equals what? So the thing is that, uh, no, I like hearing your experiences. And as you go through them, hey, it's all fine, simply because as long as that intent is there uh, on your adventures and your place in these situations, it's okay. And sometimes for the fun of it, you can just pretend everybody's a spy and they're going to do funny things and just wait to see what they do because each person proves themselves. And so going through this, as long as I've been through it this lifetime, plus the business deals and my own business, et cetera, coming across people, I like the challenge of it uh, as people expose themselves because it gives me the opportunity to share something beneficial with them if they will take the next step and become more aware because when that person lights up, it's a benefit for everybody. Yeah, it's so cool. Yes, thank you, Kevin. Wonderful. Thank you. This planet Earth needs a lot of help from all of us right now. Dean Val of in you, 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 nations united, universal, university, is contacting people around this world every day to share the importance of the all natural environment supporting all of us. Dean Vow and Dwayne Lee Hepner dot org five O one C three have created C A N Community Action Network to help all communities become aware of how to be self-sufficient with permaculture and food and rainforests. We are always looking for real people to step up, who want to learn what life on this earth is all about. We will be leasing large portions of land to create something wonderful for all communities everywhere. Contact Val Vitals on Skype and Facebook to get involved with what we all can do now or through the phone number provided, or the website in the links. Dwayne the Great Writer dot net Join us for weekly environment awareness Skypes every Sunday at 11pm Pacific Standard Time. The N U U U Nations United Universal University is dedicated to supporting and providing a real purpose and real awareness with the all natural environment supporting all of us. First comes this earth with food and rainforests and to protect what is still here. 
for those who have the awareness to see what is actually taking place here with all the natural devastation which is also purposely planned by world controllers, you now have a real opportunity to step up and do something with those who also care about your planet Earth. Dwayne Lee Hepner has created the NUUU Nations United Universal University, which completely entails the all natural environment everywhere and a real education that has real value, and that far surpasses any commonly created indoctrinating educational system that does not focus on what sustains all of us naturally. Real survival makes sense, with everything here that is self-sustaining.